Hey everyone, welcome back to Nerd Room with J&J. &J. James Sharmack here with another uh, Marvel Legends review slash comparison video for you. So today we're going to take a look at not only the No Way Home, but we're going to look at the uh, retro version of Sandman. Might as well kill two birds with one stone, take a look at both these figures, get them unboxed, take a look at them, compare them with figures in their respective universes, and uh, let's get to it. Okay guys, let's take a look at the packaging first. Obviously, uh, they're both bubble uh, carded ones. Uh, the Retro Sandman is based off the 90s Spider-Man uh, packaging from the old Toy Biz line. The toy uh, line I dug a little bit. Uh, obviously, you have a cartoon picture of Sandman right there, the figure right there. All his accessories. Spider-Man logo on the top there from the, Mar from the Fox Kids show. On the back, uh, shows you. it would show you the action feature usually, but you know, it just shows you what you can, accessories you can change on the figure. Little uh, text right there if you want to see what his deal is. And No Way Home, uh, as you've seen before, we have the No Way Home logo there, Spider Man down there, the three Spideys over there, Sandman down there. On the back, uh, three Spideys again. Little text blurb for what this Sandman's rocking, and uh, there you go. The same bubble display, same accessories, or whatever. Uh, first, we'll take a look at the retro one, then we'll take a look at the No Way Home. So we have Retro Sandman out of the box. Keep in mind, this is not the Build-A-Figure. This is not even, you know, a reissue. It's, the torso itself is, comes from the old Hydra-Man figure from uh, the Marvel Legends line, but has new arms up for obviously to make the shirt as well as the head. So the head sculpt, you know, definitely comic book inspired. You know, I, I was never, ever, ever a fan of the whole uh, cornrows, I guess, you know, I guess you could call them cornrows. I know it's supposed to be short cropped curly hair, but you know, I was never ever a fan of that design, truth be told. But it is what it is, right? But you know, I like that angry look on his face, you know. Sandman, you know, they, they do, uh, you know, every now and then he's a good guy when he needs to be or when he wants to be. Just changes his mind every now and then, but more often than not, he's just a low level uh, thug. No real flashy costume, obviously, since he turns to sand, but, you know, you know, can't really complain since he just looks like, rugged and whatever in that outfit. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Keep it with the old, uh, old school aesthetic, so that's nice. So we have No Way Home Flint Marco now. Uh, throughout the movie, he, he doesn't really take, you know, normal form until the very, very end of his cycle. Well, for whatever reason, I don't know why. Did Thomas Hayden Church get hit by a truck or something? Did he, you know, age badly in the years since Spider-Man 3 that, you know, they said, no, let's just keep it at that. But anyways, it probably could have been cheaper if they, you know, just had him, you know, revert back to whatever. But, you know, I don't know. They didn't really explain it. They just have him be Sandman. Anyways, we're going on a tangent here. So uh, the figure itself... Obviously, looks exactly like the movie. I like the whole shading and whatnot. You know, dirt, whatever. Looks exactly like Thomas Hayden Church, you know, head sculpt-wise in the movie. You know, if you really wanted to, you could probably get this figure, you know, repaint him to actually make, and, th and make him look like legit from you know, Spider-Man 3. Because, you know, that is definitely a spot on. Doesn't really look like, you know, it's... Really, all that sandy, you could probably get away with it if you wanted to. But, you know, pretty cool looking figure, all things considered. You know, nice paint apps, whatever. I like that whole, uh, you know, the foot, the design on the foot where it looks like it's just sand all around rather than just straight on feet. Yeah, pretty solid looking figure. So, Comic Sandman comes with a whole bunch of accessories. Obviously, for sand making powers, it has an alternate head. Obviously, which has that T two type of effect, where like you know, it looks like a shotgun blast, but it goes right through them. So you know, pretty cool looking. I'll try to get my hand out of the way. So you know, obviously, these got a hole in the head more or less. We'll show you how to put on like the armor accessories, but obviously, it comes with like a, a pair of human fists. Otherwise, so the extensions are just basically holes. Go right, fit right over the, uh, that, these, uh, physics, or the, the hand, hand weapons, you know, come extra long, 
with extra long pegs so we could go through the extensions and you know go into the figure so which you know of course is going to make him pretty hard to stand up so you know changes his whole center of gravity and whatnot so you're probably going to need a uh, well i got him standing up now but if you want to get him in like a real action pose you probably need to get some figure stands or whatever to make him look cool but that doesn't look too bad so the mcu uh or Raimi vs. Uh, Sandman comes with the accessories himself, comes with a pair of fists, comes with a pair of grabby hands, and it comes with the uh, extension uh, arms that we've already seen. But it work, they work a little bit differently than the uh, retro one. So you pull that arm out. You have to actually uh, put these in a certain way, like the the, th the end that's a little thinner, you have to actually put on the hand because it's not going to fit otherwise. It's not going to fit the uh, extender hand because it's, it's it has a very long peg so it has to go through here into the hand itself rather than just fitting the uh, the accessory right over and fitting it in otherwise you know if you do it the other way it's not gonna work but still you know he's also a figure that you have to try put in a certain way or you know I got him standing up here but like the other Sandman you know it's going to change the center of gravity and make it a little heavy regarding wherever you put the hands on the pose. So there you go. So posability wise, movement wise, Sandman here's same movements as usual that we've seen before. His head goes back that far, goes forward that far, all the way around, tilt and a tilt. His arm goes up, don't, that far, goes all the way around. Don't overdo it, I almost pulled the bicep out of the socket. Bicep rotation though, uh, double joint the elbow. I'm sorry. No, it's a double joint. Don't overdo it though, but that's a little tight squeeze. It's been in the package for a couple of years. Uh, rotation at the arm, or at the wrist, I should say. Can bend back that far, can bend forward that far. Rotation at the waist, try to get my hand out of the way. Uh, legs go apart that far, go forward and part back that far. Thigh rotation, double joint the knee. Uh, angle rotation back and forth so he's you know decent versatility for posing I guess and he's falling down now as for this uh, Sandman's you know posability let's take a look at it his head goes back that far goes forward that far all the way around crazy tilt going on right there you know, he's, he's got a nice uh, ball socket up there it looks like the arm goes up that far all the way around of course bicep rotation double joint at the elbow wrist rotation back and forth it only has a diaphragm uh, joint doesn't have a waist joint so you can bend back that far bend forward that far side to side rotation at the diaphragm legs apart that far go forward and back that far he's got he's got a weird uh Articulation on the, at the, the hip. Anyways, uh, thigh rotation, double joint at the knee, angle pivoting, and back and forth. So he does all right. You know, he has that the usual articulation we've seen from the some of the bigger figures. I don't know why he has uh, that kind of articulation. Well, but, you know, doesn't really have like at super athletic abilities where he needs to like really bend over to like Spider-Man poses. But it is what it is, I guess. And if you wanted to interchange parts, I think uh, it works better on the comic book Sandman if you wanted to use the MCU parts on that. If you use the retro bar, it's uh, more, you know, it's lighter shade than uh, him, but, you know, I'm sure you could probably come up and excuse like, oh, the sun's shining on that or whatever. There's different lighting or whatever. I don't know. Different, you know, he, he picked up some, like, some lighter sand or something along the way. But whatever, you know, I, like I said, I think it just works better with the comic. So just about every single classic Sinister Six lineup, this display, diorama, whatever, you really need a Sandman. He's almost in every single, every single lineup, every single iteration. And, you know, obviously, you know, he's one I've been, you know, I did look for, for a long time. Or, you know, I did try to collect the bill of figures so I could put him in. I might still try. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, this one goes a long way to, you know, actually, you know, building a diorama. 
and you know, I kind of intend to build a Spider-Man diorama, so it's going to be pretty cool to actually put him in. And just see how he looks, I just threw some uh, No Way Home figures into like a quick pose, looks pretty solid to me. Uh, obviously he's in the scale with them, looks pretty solid, as I said. Uh, I do wish that, you know, they would come out with like, say, a, a, a big, you know, build a figure, like a suitor size one, the suitor figure. You know, something like, that's like 12 inches, you know, actually put them in like that kind of kaiju scale. Like, you know, obviously like, uh, you know, you've seen the finales of this, of No Way Home and Spider-Man 3, so, well, you know, they, they do make them real big, so that would be pretty cool to, you know, have the, the little figures in comparison. But that's my thinking. Okay, so I like both figures. I like them a lot. Uh, I I do wish they had a little little more uh, posability with Sandman MCU um, and maybe an alternate head. But you know, looks just like the character. But he has, you know, like I said, he has issues with standing up and all. I'm pretty sure he's being supported right now by the Sandman. I did that by accident. But that being said, Retro Sandman, you know. If I reviewed this, the year came out, probably would have, obviously would have made it top 10. I might put him in, like, you know, as, like, a, you know, late to the party prize when I, if I do, like, a top 10 or top 5. But, you know, probably one of the best figures I've seen in a long time. Uh, and I know I'm very late for the party on it, but, uh, you know, he holds a posability, even with the accessories on, better than most figures do without uh, accessories. You know, very sturdy, very, you know, you know, holds a, like I say, holds a pose, and he looks great with like the accessories. So, uh, you know, I wish I wasn't so late to the party with it, but it is what it is. You know, timing it for me is pretty screwed up. So, you know, I did get a lot. I'm happy to have him in the Sinister Six collection. Happy to have the, the No Way Home, obviously. You know, as I, you know, I do like that movie. I love collecting the figures from that. So we're moving on uh, uh, with this. Uh, We've got, you know, some more figures coming in. Uh, obviously, I have a whole bunch. Yeah, I should get through before the end of the year. You know, see if they have any chance to break a top 10 or whatever. Top 5, I don't know. But, you know, as I said, if I was to pick one, Russia 1's probably the one you want to find. And he's probably worth a bit more since it's probably all secondary market by now. So, it is what it is, guys. Sorry for the lateness for that review. But still, you know, high rec highly recommended recommendation whatever anyways thank you guys for watching this review hope you guys did like it you know like I can you're probably tired of me saying how small this channel is it's microscopic it's it's you know it's the size of an atom compared to most channels but still I like doing it it's a nice little hobby it's fun you know guys don't let really, don't let anyone tell you not to do something if you really like doing it you know, don't ever listen to the crowd. The crowd doesn't know what they're talking about. They, the crowd just wants you to do what they want you to do. What do you want to do? As long as it's not harming anyone, you're not hurting anyone, do what you got to do. So that's it for this review, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys do like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, whatever. Uh, I have, you know, probably the figure of the year coming up next. F from what I've seen, you know, people are saying it's the figure of the year. We'll see how it goes. They might be wrong, but we'll see. My name is James Charmack. Uh, thank you so much, and as always, keep on collecting and happy hunting.